Sunny out. Beautiful day. Gonna do some tools. Gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm talking to the camera. That's my grandson Elias. That's my granddaughter Layla. I'm gonna finish this up. These are metric wrenches, and I got more to organize and to set up. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. By the way. I do this while I'm babysitting, watching the kids out front. Takes a long time, looks good, works good. So here I'm organizing my tools, getting ready to uh, put them in, mainly to see what, how many spots or slots I need. It's obvious I'm missing some wrenches. Missing at least one there. Hopefully it won't wash up with the Sharpie. Because look at Sharpie can stay on. Nothing can wash up. So the sun will burn them. So here I am figuring out what's going to fit. You know, you get just obviously you just can't throw them in. Notice I have the open end against the side of the uh, drawer. And I'm turning it around and realizing, well, if I'm going to reach in and grab this wrench... Uh, it'd be better to have it that way, uh, so I could just, you know, uh, finger grab it, as it were. So as I sort these up and put them in, uh, you'll see that, you know, I'm moving them in and out, just seeing how they fit, and it looks good. And now I'm uh, putting in the. Uh, I've got magnets attached to for these roofing nails so that they can hold up some of the wrenches and here I'm marking uh, where I'm going to lay down my uh, glue base because you know I use the glue base on the drawer and then I put glue on the nails so that uh, it sticks really well um, I've tried just gluing the nails in but putting that uh, that glue base in is the best way to go so just marking where I'm going to put it so that I don't just glue the whole bottom of the drawer um, and then I'll be taking out the wrenches and then applying a glue base I know how to play the game sweetie so getting ready to clean with the acetone as you see um, I discovered that the acetone <laughs> actually takes off the paint so I don't rub it as much as I normally do I did not realize until I was looking at this video how dusty the inside of that drawer was I knew it was a little dusty I didn't worry about it this is my secret weapon oh I know you want to know what it is but you no know, the company's gonna have to pay me to show you you know was it robot fighting? Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. Anything about that one? So here I am laying down the glue base. You know, I'll let it set up a little bit because it is, it is like a contact cement. Uh, but I don't use it like a contact cement. I find that, you know, using a little extra on the uh, nails makes, uh, makes but, a big difference. If you've watched the video and you've seen and and you've gotten to this point, look at the remarks below and you'll see what what I use here. I'm just not going to do product placement on a YouTube video and have them get free advertising. So I use these uh, nails, uh, roofing nails, and obviously because of the wider heads, you know, I've, I've used other things, you know, other kinds of glues. I've used uh, an epoxy, and that didn't seem to work well enough. And um, honestly, I don't remember the other kinds of glues. And I've used rivets. I uh, tried gluing in magnets to hold the wrenches. Uh, just nothing really seemed to work as efficiently as I wanted it to. 
So that's uh, why I use this glue. I use uh, two different lengths nails, and some when I get in the mood to, I'll cut the heads off and use Dremel tool and kind of smooth the tops off. But honestly, I'm just at a point where you know I can just reach in so easily, and you know I might get a little poke, but <laughs> it didn't really hurt when I reach in to get the nails. And man, this just it just works just beautifully. I've got so many wrenches in one drawer that you'll see at the end of the video and I did this over probably four days you'll notice the difference in the sunshine uh, in the time of the day if you look at the shadows and here's what I've gotten accomplished so far and I actually bought another set of metric wrenches the gear wrench the whole 16 piece set because I had gaps in my wrenches and the opens and opened end and box ends of it that I just had to have another wrench set so this is what it looks like or gonna look like when I get it glued in but uh, you can see I don't have the nails glued in to the gear wrench set yet so tired of hearing her sing We'll go in the backyard and play in your... So putting more glue base down as you can see. Uh, gluing in that gear wrench set and that's what it looks like the glue's not set up I'll let that dry for a day then I'll come back and do more and here I am another day doing more uh, like I said this does take a while to do uh, and I do it sitting outside watching grandkids ride up and down the street but you know it's something you could uh, do while watching TV or you know other things that uh, where you you know if you got busy hands then you can get some things accomplished, you know, just half an hour at a time. So, this is the finished product. And these are my standard sizes.